Hey, what's up you guys? It's Ilarian Garbazov with you. Today I want to continue the topic of my last video. It's uh, the landing club analysis. We'll try different uh, tree solutions, uh, models on uh, this data set and uh, try to uh, combine it with another data set that I found uh, at Kiva. Uh, the Kiva is a platform that lending money in uh, poor countries. Uh, so we'll try to generalize our model and to combine uh, two different data sets. It would be uh, very interesting to you guys. Uh, we continue our loan default uh, prediction. But first of all, push the like button, subscribe to my video, don't forget to comment my videos and crash the like button. Let's do it! So this time I uh, was making the analysis at the local host uh, on my PC. Uh, at Jupyter Notebook, so uh, this is the same. I didn't uh, make the feature engineering uh, this time, but I uh, run another model, models, few another models. So this is that uh, we've done uh, with you last time uh, with logistic regression on landing club analysis. And uh, I tried to make another more complex models, uh, the trees one. Uh, this time I've made uh, gradient boosting classifier uh, and a random forest classifier. So I fitted uh, the gradient boosting classifier uh, and random forest classifier on the same data uh, with the same features as I fitted it uh, as I trained uh, with a logistic, uh, logistic uh, regression. And uh, I trained uh, uh, XG uh, boost classifier uh, on a little reduced uh, uh, features and uh, reduced number of features uh because it's uh, really a big data set it's uh, it uh, has uh, more than 1 million uh, rows in it and uh with all of it uh what we uh what we have uh the report uh so we got uh, four different models on our uh landing club uh, data set with the logistic regression gradient boosting classifier random uh forest classifier and hg boost classifier so uh, here is the train accuracy, uh, test accuracy, and rock oak accuracy. And uh, logistic uh, regression uh, gave us a good result, but the gradient boosting classifier and EG boost uh, make it uh, great. Uh, so we've got uh, we've got bad results uh, on the train test uh, uh, data. That is all on the learning club analysis. Next time I'll do the feature engineering and try to uh, make our uh, accuracy score and rock oak score better. So uh, next step we're going to the Kivalon analysis. I found this uh, amazing data sets uh, on Kaggle. Uh, but on Kaggle they don't have a default um, feature. And I tried to make the research on the web. Uh, so I've got uh, this uh, data set on Kiva loans uh, that got uh, status paid uh, or default, but it seems that it's uh, a little uh, small data set with 42,000 rows. And uh, when we're going to statistics of uh, this uh, data, uh, data set, so uh, there is a lot of uh, paid loans and uh, loans uh, in repayment, but a small amount uh, of defaulted um, uh, loans. It's uh, like 2% of uh, all a uh, data set, and uh, this data set is not representative. So I tried to find another one, and uh, I've got uh, uh, loans on Kiva uh, website, the snapshot of all uh, the data uh, through the years, and this data set is uh, uh, enormous, uh, enormous big. It got nearly 2 million uh, rows and uh, 33 uh, features on each loan. Uh, and 
let's describe this features a little so it's got loan id loan name and all the description of the loans beside uh, the status of loan as a paid or default because it's a private uh, it is a uh, information and they uh, since 2017 they uh, didn't disclose it so we can see uh, the status of uh, loan funded expired refunded fundraising but we can't see uh, is it paid or uh, defaulted uh, and uh, but what we can take from this data and how can we enrich it so i saw uh, that uh, the distribution model of kiva through the field partners mostly uh, we can see it uh, in the data and uh, as we uh, we can make a histogram uh, and we can see that mostly uh, few partners uh, few hundred partners distribute all the loans uh, so here is a description of a row like we got loan name and description and all the data uh, posted time but we don't have personal uh, we got the funding amount but we don't have um, exact information on the loan like a percentage uh, default rate uh, was it defaulted or not and so on uh, we can uh, describe the data set and we can see the distribution of the funded amount is not the same as the distribution of fund amount at Sending Club. For Sending Club uh, data set is uh, the loans in Lending Club data set uh, are in the United States and it got a bigger middle funded uh, amount. So, uh, what I think is that we need to <coughs> enrich uh, the data of uh, Kiva loans and uh, what I found that Kiva uh, got uh, field partners and uh, Kiva got on uh, their side all the information about the field partners uh, through them they distribute all the loans and what uh, do we have on the field partners we've got time on Kiva uh, number of Kiva borrowers total loans and uh, most important is that we've got uh, delinquency rate, uh, loans at risk rate, and the default rate of uh, loans that were distributed through uh, the partner. So we can uh, take all this info, uh, take all this data from uh, the um, partners and enrich uh, the, uh, the data uh, that I taken from the Kiva loans and uh, then take some data uh, with the similar distribution and similar middle and uh, deviation from the lending club and make uh, the general data set and uh, make uh, more general predictions on it. Thank you. See you tomorrow.